Hello and welcome back to another video with Mimi only for 5.45 coverage for Final Fantasy 14 and today we're looking at this rather fetching looking item in the housing area today in our FC garden. I've decided to actually film this at night because it gives you the best perspective of what it looks like because it really does come alive with all of these little almost fairy lights doesn't it and there's a weird sort of hanging grapes there. So this is none other than the Lenotian Grape Pergola. This is something you make with basic woodworking at level 80, so you don't need masterwork for this. It needs three lowland grape seeds, five lignum vitae lumber, five starch glue, and three growth formula kappa, with a recommendation of craftsmanship of 1866. So it's not that difficult. Uh, these are currently selling quite highly on the market board, as you would imagine, with the patch day merely a couple of days ago. But it does look very cool. Let's drag this out of the corner. I've put this in the corner because it looked the nicest here temporarily. But let's plop that there so you get a, a better idea of what it looks like. We'll go in first person and pan around this with the lights on. So I think it's quite pretty. And as you can see, it is basically a grapevine growing on top of, well, what do you call it? A pagoda? I think that's what you call it. If you rotate it round, you'll see that one side has an open section and the other two have this extra beam here giving some kind of seclusion with a nice beamed pattern and we have the vine at the top there and these little flowers uh, daisies basically growing at the bottom with these large grapevine uh, roots and branches stemming out of the ground it looks pretty good in my opinion a lot of people have already taken to using this i've seen in some pictures uh, making some really nice outdoor uh, spaces to just chill out in and I aim to do exactly the same uh, especially considering this is a corner shaped item a, you know a triangle basically so it makes sense to put it in the corner as you can see there's a close-up of those uh, grapes um, the grapes aren't that great up close are they Let, let's be honest they're not very well grape shaped um, but then I don't know how hard is it to create a grape in the game probably quite difficult it looks kind of like lumps of, of cut-up Play-Doh stuck on a line. But there we go. We won't look at that too heavily. The lantern in the middle is very nice. The wood itself is quite nice. Lots of detail here. And the little fairy lights are very, very nice, aren't they, in, in general. But uh, it looks natural. It doesn't look out of place. And as you can see, the wood goes straight into the ground there, along with the roots. And those, like, flower daisy things, whatever flower that would be. I think they're daisies, right? So let's actually, um, I don't know, just show you what I would personally do with this. I would whack this back in the corner somewhere here. I would get the bench that uh, was up there and I'd place that there and I would rotate the, the bench around if I can actually access the bench. Please game, please. And before we get too carried away, I've had to do this separately from the other recording. It is actually a dipole item. As you can see, it starts in this sort of brown color. We also have um, basic wood grain effects. It looks quite nice in light colours. Actually, that pink would work, the rose pink, because since I went for the rose petals. But yeah, I forgot to actually feature this before. My bad. But uh, at least we got this in the video because a lot of people all wonder what it looks like dyed. And it looks pretty good, actually. Um, a lot better in the brighter colours, especially pumpkin orange there, bringing out the, the wood grain. Um, but yeah, just thought I would feature that because... It's something I would usually do, and I'm not sure why I didn't feature it this time, but it looks pretty good, in a, but probably not in that blue, but um, but yeah, the wood grain sort of colours. I'm tempted to dye it sort of pink or purple to go with the petals and make a little sort of purple petally area. I don't know. It depends. It looks nice in white as well, actually. I can imagine that looking really good with some white decking. But there we go. Very cool. But I think that looks quite nice, personally. Look at that. Nice little corner, decorative corner. Very simple to do. You know, I like the fact that this trellis has so much detail on it and it uses just one item. You know, housing item limitations are a big problem and I think this is taking up a good section of the garden. If this was a small plot, this would look even better, of course. I do think they need to add more slots because we're pretty much at maximum at this point, you know, with gardens. I could put the gardens away, but... You know what I mean? Like they, they definitely need to have more. But yeah, I, I like this item. 
it's it's definitely growing on me. Uh, okay, I'll stop with the puns now. There we go. Yes. If you've picked this one up, let me know what you plan to do with it. If you've had any ideas yourself, maybe you're going to pick this up and create something awesome yourself. Maybe you want to make a little patio area. Maybe you put the, the spit roast uh, item from the um, from a Monster Hunter crossover on here. Maybe make a patio, like a barbecue area. Let me know below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully this preview was useful. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.